Hey all, it's John Tramp from Bounty in the Comics, and I've got a big Star Wars rumor for you today. Jordan Mason, hope I'm pronouncing his name right, the editor-in-chief of Cinelinks and a former contributor on StarWars.com, dropped a pretty big rumor over on Twitter concerning the rise of Skywalker. But before we get to that rumor, if you could please hit that subscribe button, and while you're at it, hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. Your support allows us to keep making these videos. We really appreciate it, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Really do appreciate it. Thank you very much. Well, let's get back to the rumor. That's what you're here for. Jordan Mason details that there will be up to eight different endings for The Rise of Skywalker. And this is what he writes on Twitter. Oh, here's a random freebie. At one point, up to eight different endings have been, have been slash were test screened for The Rise of Skywalker. Let me repeat that. Eight different endings. Eight different endings. Are you kidding me? Eight different endings? What is going on? Why do you need eight different endings for a movie? You should, you should know what the ending is. This is a trilogy. You should have known what the ending of the film was going to be like, uh, like half a decade ago. It's ridiculous. So, uh, Mason does clarify though. Should have been a tad more clear, I guess. These wouldn't be separate and distinct endings from one another. Yeah, I gotta walk that back a little bit, huh? Eight different endings is a little too much. But I don't know if I really believe him. He's saying that, that he's saying that they wouldn't be separate and distinct. I'm not sure if that's true because we got a rumor back in September from my fellow YouTuber Doomcock, and his source told him that there were at least a dozen cuts of The Rise of Skywalker with multiple edits. He noted that, quote, each edit has a different context and could be released several ways. He added, and though the same movie, it feels very different. So Mason doesn't really get into what he means by uh, they wouldn't be separate and distinct. They, that, does, that means they could still be, uh, have different context and could be released in several ways. Uh, so they're not really contradicting each other. I would actually say these two rumors complement each other. So Doomcock would even surmise that the vast multitude of leaks was actually, is actually market research to, to try and determine what would be the most appealing scenarios. So we've been following Star Wars. There's been tons of leaks all throughout September uh, and, and in late August. And then we're still getting them here in October. They've kind of slowed down a little bit, but there's, it's still coming pretty fast, given that we're, what, two months away uh, from the release date. But what I find really mo even more interesting is that in the Doomcock leak from September, he noted that the actors don't even know what the final product will look like. And if you have eight different endings or 12 different endings, uh, yeah, I would assume they wouldn't know what it is. And John Boyega seemed to confirm that back in April uh, when he was at Star Wars Celebration. He told the LA Times, quote, I was actually debating this. So he's talking about the title of The Rise of Skywalker and that he had no idea what it, he has no idea what it means. And he told the LA Times, I was actually debating this because in all honesty, I only found out about the title last night when they gave a cast screening of the trailer that we were going to show. I mean, he, he had no idea what the title of the film was going to be. Uh, if he doesn't, if he and if he doesn't know what the title of the film is going to be, he probably doesn't even know know what's actually happening in the movie. Uh, they might have compartmentalized a lot of his parts, and this could be like a Frankenstein monster where they're taking. They did a ton of shoot filming and shoots, and they're just going to cobble them together in the editing room and see what happens. Um, so on top of the uh, of all of these other rumors, you had a rumor from uh, also in the beginning of September from LA uh, former LA Weekly film critic Art Tavana. He said things weren't looking good for the rise of Skywalker uh, when he was reporting on reshoots back in September, uh, and those researchers were probably putting together more of these these edits and different variations of what was happening, uh, of what the ending will be or what could have happened throughout the film. And it really looks like Disney has absolutely no idea what they are doing with The Rise of Skywalker. But I do want to point out that it's not unheard of for films to have different endings for movies. That's, that's not unheard of. Having 8 or 12 is, seems kind of out of the ordinary to me. But James Cameron's Terminator 2 had John and Sarah Connor living happily 30 years into the future 
after defeating the T-1000. That is not how it, it happened in the theatrical release. And then more recently, Kevin Feige released an alternate post credit scene from Iron Man that, uh, that talks about mutants, gamma radiation experiments, and radioactive bug bites. None of those were mentioned in the actual theatrical release of that post credit scene with Samuel L. Jackson as uh, <clears throat> Nick Fury uh, confronting um, Iron Man about the Avengers initiative. But it, uh, I mean, so we, we have seen alternate endings before, but I don't think I've seen to this extent. This is this is a lot. Eight eight to twelve endings. Is, it, it, it's it's really a lot. It's almost like their market research isn't very good, and they're getting different feedbacks from different types of audiences, and thus they're trying to really grasp for straws because they're probably not going to be able to appease everyone or make everyone happy, which I don't think you need to really make everyone happy. Um, I think you need to just try and rejuvenate your Star Wars brains, which you need to do, uh, and they, uh, that window might have flown for a lot of people, but... I still think there's a lot of people who would come back to Star Wars if they start telling good stories. People will want good stories. Um, but th there also could be some kind of creative clash. Uh, that's not unheard of. Uh, in fact, we've seen lots of creative clashes with Star Wars, especially with Disney Star Wars over the past couple of years. Um, Kathleen Kennedy fired Lord and Miller from Solo. Colin Trevorrow uh, was removed from the Episode Nine as the director. Uh, there was like heavy reshoots, I, I believe, for Rogue One as well. Uh, the only time where we ha it feels like we haven't seen a lot of creative drama was with Rian Johnson's Last Jedi, where with all indications they kind of just let him go buck wild, and that was an absolutely horrid mistake, uh, given where the franchise is at today. But uh, I want to know what you think. What do you make of uh, this new rumor that we're, there's eight different endings for Rise of the Skywalker? What do you think is going on uh, with Rise of the Skywalker? Let me know in the comments below. My name is John Trent, and you've been watching Bounding in the Comics. Until next time.